Hello, welcome to the video on solving two-step equations. This is our third example set, example set C. And if you're able to do the previous uh, example set problems and of course understood the lesson, then this is really going to be pretty easy because it's going to be the same thing. We're basically taking the same two steps to solve these um, equations. Now, in this particular group of uh, problems, we're going to be working with decimals, so obviously you're going to want to have a calculator, but um, it's not going to change the steps you're going to take. All right, so let's go ahead and tackle our first problem here. So the first thing I want to do is isolate my variable term, which is 5.9x. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 2.6 from both sides of the equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and have you work that out in your calculator. And I'll have mine also, so we'll have 5. 0.9x. Okay, our 2.6s go away. And you're going to get 14.7 minus 2.6. Okay, and that's going to be 12.1. All right, so we have 5.9x equals 12.1. So to solve for x, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 5.9. Okay, that's our second step in these two-step equations. Okay, first of all, use addition or subtraction to isolate the variable term, which was 5.9. Then use multiplication or division to solve for x. And in this case, I'm using division. So x is going to be equal to 12.1 divided by 5.9. And I get 2.050. I'll go ahead and just kind of keep it right there. So if you're getting that decimal, I'm not going to bother writing all the digits out. If you're getting um, essentially 2.050, then you did the problem correctly. Okay, so really, you know, these uh, one-step uh, uh, one equations, two-step equations, you know, just because we throw in decimals or fractions, it doesn't change the process. Okay, it's still pretty easy. And, of course, you always need to write out your work. If you're not showing all your work, then you're taking a big gamble on whether you're going to get the right answer or not. Okay, so... Moving on to our next problem. So our variable term is going to be this part right here, this negative 1.3y. So I got this minus 108.4 next to it. So I'm going to get rid of that part by adding 108.4 to both sides of the equation. Now, notice how every single time I do these problems, I'm doing it in the same way. You want to write these problems out and show your work, you know, model it the way I'm doing it. Create those habits because if you're kind of skipping or kind of being sloppy or not showing everything, then you're creating bad habits and that's going to come back to uh, to really kind of, you know, uh, haunt you, if you will, with bad grades and we don't want that. All right, so we got negative 1.3y minus one, uh, 108.4 equals 0 0.105. So I'm going to add this 108.4 to both sides of the equation. And it gives me negative 1.3y equals, it gives the 108.4s go away. So now I'm going to go into my calculator. I've got 0.015. I'm going to add 108.4, 108.4, and I get 108, 108.415. Okay, so this is where we're at now took our first step, so our second step is going to be solving for y by dividing both sides of the equation by this negative 1.3. Okay, now after I do that, or after we do that, rather, we will get the solution. Okay, so 108.415 divided by one point, or negative 1.3, excuse me, is going to be equal to a negative 8.3 point three nine six let's call it three nine six all right and I didn't tell you how many digits to round off to so that's fine I just want to give you enough to to um, make sure that in fact you're getting the same answer as I'm getting so there you go so negative eighty three point three nine six would be the solution to that problem but once again look how I'm showing my work you have to have to have to show your work matter of fact I know from if uh, you were actually turning your work to me or most uh, good math teachers out there, if you didn't show your work, it was like, you know, I would start taking points off because then I'm kind of wondering, you know, how did you get your answer? If you, you know, these, if I can't show my work, or rather, if I need to show my work to get my answer, 
then I would expect you to have to show your work to get your answer. Okay, so show your work, create those good habits. Okay, moving on to our next problem. So in this case, or this equation, 0.3z is our variable term. So we're going to subtract 0 0.00715 from both sides of the equation. Now another thing I want to mention here is give yourself enough room to work. Okay, so I'm giving myself plenty of room here because I just don't want to be constrained and I don't want to like force myself to like uh, write very small because I'm trying to save space in my paper with all these negative and decimal signs. It's, it's so easy to make a mistake when you're when you have a lot of things going on at once. So be, you know, give yourself enough room. All right, so when I subtract this negative 0 0.00715 from both sides, I'm going to get 0.3z equals, so now in my calculator, I'm going to have to go negative uh, 401 plus a negative uh, 0, 0 0.00715. Now, you can just say, you know, if you don't want to deal with the negative signs in your calculator, you could just simply go, because we're, we're going to be adding these up and it's going to be negative. So you can just add these up and keep the negative sign. So as long as you understand your positive negative number rules, then you're, you're going to be fine. Okay, so 401 plus 0 0.00715 equals negative 401.00715. Let's call it. Let's write everything out. Okay, so, whoops, nope, I'm sorry, I thought I made a mistake, but I didn't. Okay, so like I said, even, I'm very, um, for lack of a better word, uh, paranoid when I'm doing math. I'm like, oh, always thinking, did I do a mistake? Because I know I'm capable of making a mistake. No one's perfect, not even, no math teacher, no one is perfect. So you're always on a lookout for yourself. You have to be checking yourself you know, whether you're making these errors. So let's see here, negative 401.00715. Okay, so that looks good to me. So uh, so now to solve for z, I simply have to divide both sides of the equation by this 0.3, okay? So some of you might be out there saying, yeah, you know what, I know how to do this. So I just go real fast and, and that's great. But I've been doing this for many years. I mean, like uh, by the time I'm making this video, like say on order of 30 years and, uh, you know, math is a language. It's, it's you know, people are going to misspell a word from time to time or misplace the comma from time to time or add two numbers together wrongly. That's just human nature. So if you know how to check yourself as you go, you can, uh, you know, minimize your mistakes, you know, down to a very, very, very small percentage. And that's the goal. All right, so let's get this uh, solution here. Z equals negative 401.00715 divided by 0.3. Okay, so what do we got here? I'm getting negative, right? Because a negative divided by positive is going to be negative. So that'll be negative 1336.6905 or so. Okay, so there is our solution. All right, so hopefully this is all coming together for you. It takes a little bit of, of more time than some of our more basic equations because we're having to use our calculator. But nevertheless, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, math for you guys out there. So our last problem, 8.9g minus 0.25 equals 1 eighth. So a couple ways you can go. You have decimals and you have a fraction. If you want to take that 1 eighth and just convert that into a decimal to make it easier for you, you can do that. So 1 eighth as a decimal is 0.125. So let's just go ahead and rewrite the equation as 8.9g minus 0.25 five equals 0.125. Okay, so how do you convert a fraction to a decimal? You simply divide the numerator by the denominator and you have uh, the decimal version of that fraction. Okay, so now let's isolate this variable term here. I'm going to add 0.25 to both sides of the equation and I get 8 Point nine g equals 0.125 plus 0.25 is going to be equal to, hold on here, 0.125 plus 0.25 is equal to 0.375. All right, so we have 8.9g 
equals to 0.375. So to solve for g, I got to divide both sides of the equation by 8.9. Okay. So g is going to be equal to 0.375 divided by 8.9. And I get 0 0.04213 or so, let's call it. And that's it. Okay, so if you're, you know, if you're able to get all these problems right along with the other ones, then you know what? Um, that's a good thing. You're doing really, really well. And you have a lot to be proud of because after two-step equations are going to become, or, or he's going to, you're going to be facing multi-step equations, and it's just really going to be more of the same. It's just, good, you know, you're just adding in additional steps, but each individual step is is, is an inverse operation. Okay, like here, we added 0.25 to both sides. Here we divided both sides of the equation by um, 8.9. And that's that core concept we learned about when we were studying one-step equations, inverse operations. And that's the key to solving any equation in algebra. All right, so keep working hard. We'll see you soon.